A judge from Intercourse, Pennsylvania, has been cited for disorderly conduct after passing out acorns that he had hollowed out and stuffed with condoms. Okay. Now, he says it's a gag, and, uh, and so people are offended by it. He's going to be in a lot of trouble. I have a decision already. Let him go! Let him go! Uh, not guilty. Okay? They're like, oh, he's a judge. You shouldn't be doing this. Is this sexually harassing people? It's a condom. Why is it sexually harassing? Is, like, if he gave a condom to a woman and thought is set in his courtroom and said, huh, think about it. Think about it. Okay? Well, then, okay, we got an issue. But he's on a street corner. Right. It's obviously a joke. So is a, is a judge not allowed to make any jokes but it's that a, involves a condom? I don't know. But it's such a... Like, I agree with you. Like, what are you going to do? You're going to throw him in jail for this? You're, or are you going to fire him after he's, like, 58 years old or whatever, after he's right. worked his whole life? You're going to fire him because he made a bad joke? Right. No, no, no. I agree with you. But I don't... I don't know. Maybe I'm an idiot. I don't understand what the joke is. Who cares? Why is no, that... No, no, no. I'm with you. It's a dumb joke. Why is... Like, he? I think he figured out how to put it in the acorn, and he's like, oh, this is... This is good, right? <laughs> and you're like, why? Why is it good? I don't know why the condom's in the haycord. Yeah, but, but, but the other thing is, he's from Intercourse, Pennsylvania. <laughs> no, come on. <laughs> Not guilty. Not guilty. If you're from Intercourse, you got to do a condom joke. The it's AC almost mandatory. The ACLU is defending him. Right. I actually have a good quote from the ACLU, uh, and we, we made a graphic for it, so that's why I have to read it. <laughs> okay, all right, good, <laughs> good. Graphic. All right, um... It is from an ACLU attorney named Val Birch. She says, while we think that passing out condom-stuffed acorns may be one of the most creative ways to send a message, whether it was a dirty joke or a plea for safe sex, leafleting, uh, to get your point across, is older than the Constitution and it's protected by it. We think this was protected speech and that the Capitol Police violated the Constitution by citing him. I have the uh, definitive ruling on this case. All right. Uh, yeah, let him go. Obviously, no harm was done. Like right. you have to have harm done. Right. There's literally no harm done. If the condoms were used, we're having a different <laughs> situation. Yes. That said, it's more than a bad joke. Like, think about the whole process. Like you wake up in the morning and you like get the paper. And you look at it like, oh my God! Another beautiful day in intercourse. Oh, what will I do today? Hey, look, some acorns fell from the tree. He picks one up, he looks at it. You know, I could get my Swiss Army knife, and I could hollow out this acorn, and then what I'll do is I'll stuff it with condoms, and then I'll hand it out to people. He's fucking insane. <laughs> <laughs> like, I'm and, not sure I want him to be my judge. Yeah, but <laughs> and he has no business sort of adjudicating life-altering circumstance for other human beings. No, people make corny jokes, so this was a it's little... It's not a joke. It's weird, but I know it's a little nutty. <laughs> okay. How does that make any sense? You're kidding, right? As an acorn is a nut? Yeah. All right. I thought it was a condom nut joke. It was too far removed. <laughs> no. So, uh, unless I've got it wrong. You know what bothers me most? It's not the condom part. It's the hollowing out the acorn part. <laughs> it's a lot of volition. Yeah, right? it's like yeah, I'm gonna do. It's like work. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I can't. You know what's his name? His name is Isaac Stoltzfus. Yeah. Hey, Ike, you want to go to uh, lunch today at uh, Mabel's Diner? Can't hollowing out acorns all day. <laughs> you know what I wondered reading the story? It's funny what goes through our minds. <laughs> I was wondering how many he did. Did right. he do like three or thirty? Right. You see what I'm saying? If he did or three, a okay. thousand. <laughs> You know, <laughs> if he did a thousand, then I would Ben. You got to fire the guy. No, look, look, look at this. Look at this. Look at it. There it is. Come on. <laughs> By the way, but I think the the real answer, and I think the ACLU has, it makes an interesting case. But I think the real answer is you pull him aside and you go, Ike. Yeah. Don't do that. Again. Yeah, Ike, don't do that again. Okay. In fact, you know what? No more jokes. Okay. <laughs> No, no, I know, well, I so, know. But like, like with your wife and with your friends at the Maple Diner, okay? But let's not do any jokes. By the, by the way, so I just understand it. What's the joke? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> like, what's the, like, the key to it, like, here's what isn't a joke. Hey, what time is it? 4.17! <laughs> <laughs> like, that's not a joke. <laughs> Although I found it really funny. Yeah, that's not a joke. So that's the irony right yeah. there. <laughs>